We are going to follow the money trail tonight to a very questionable investment. It is a 444 foot tall castle in the sand, a colossal hotel on the east coast of Florida. And it's owned entirely by the pension fund of the Plumbers Union, which is supposed to provide for the retirements of hundreds of thousands of workers. The more than $4 billion pension fund is expected to spend $800 million of its dollars to build the hotel. This is not the kind of safe, secure investment that pension funds usually pursue. Here's ABC's Brian Ross. It's a beachfront hotel, but there's almost no beach. Over budget by hundreds of millions, it's one of the most expensive hotel construction projects in Florida ever. Yet not all the floors are flat, and some of the walls have a tilt. I call it the Leaning Tower of Mataloni. Mataloni is Marty Mataloni, seen here on the hotel's golf course, the man behind the project. He's not a real estate developer. Mataloni is the president of one of the country's big unions, the Plumbers Union. And over the last several years, with special waivers from the Department of Labor, Mataloni's project has used hundreds of millions of dollars from his members' pension fund for what his opponents in the union say is a high-risk money pit with none of the outside investors he said there would be. It started at $40 million from the pension fund, then it went to $100 million. Then it went to 400 million. Then it went to 600 million. And what is it now? It's 800 million now. Tony Pruitt, running against Mataloni for union president, says it's outrageous that almost 20% of the pension fund's money has gone into the one project. They took this money straight out of the pension plan. So it hasn't been making anything investment wise for us. Marble in the hotel comes from Italy, where Mataloni flew to personally inspect it. And in the bar of the now open golf course, there's a special drink called the Mataloni Coffee, $7 a pop. I don't think he has the right to play the role with our money. Some retired Plumbers Union members say Mataloni is stroking his ego at the expense of their pensions. Now my main concern is, is the money safe? Now the Department of Labor has begun an investigation of the entire project including allegations that a big construction contract went to a company with alleged ties to organized crime, raising even more questions about the earlier Labor Department approval. It's beyond my comprehension because the Department of Labor certainly knows about these individuals. They know about these people who are involved in organized crime. They know all about these companies. Mr. Mataloni, Brian Ross from ABC News, wanted to ask you some questions about... Mataloni has denied any wrongdoing, but refused repeated requests to talk with ABC News. And when we caught up with him in Washington, he tried to hide his face. Why are you having your men block his And his associates tried to block our camera. Project officials say that with a major hotel group now involved, the hotel will eventually turn a profit and even build a beach. Brian Ross, ABC News, Washington.